Well, we have managed to find a new spot, but I apologize because I need to get a hold of somebody on the radio that wants to come and also see the big male lion. Ralph, sorry, um, I was busy on the radio. You are more than welcome to make your way. There's only myself here. Um, like Chris was saying, best access is via Haryuna Road, and then you'll see the branch on the road. A firm come Hyena Road. Copy. Alright, sorry guys, we when we go out on drives for security reasons and also just because we help each other out, we have a radio with us, so when we find something that's very big or very interesting to watch, then we have to call it in on the radio because there might be somebody else that also wants to come, so I was doing my duty and just making sure that everybody else knew um, that we are here with this lion. Although, luckily for us, not too many people want to come around because it seems like there are more lions in other places, so it means that, yay for us, we get to spend a little bit more time with him. Now, it's still busy grooming itself. Virginia, you're wondering why do lions bait themselves with their tongues? Well, they don't really like the water. Uh, and also here the water in Africa is very dangerous. There are hippos, there are crocodiles, all sorts of things that might want to hurt a lion. So like the domestic cats that also don't like taking a bath, they have learned that the best way to get clean is just use their tongue. And their tongue, if you have a pet at home, their tongue is very, very rough. So it's not nice and smooth like ours, but it's actually got tiny little, um, what can I call them? tiny little particles that almost act like a cum. So whenever he's licking his skin, he's getting all the dirt out and all the extra hair and so on. And of course, because all of his saliva is there, then all of the, the water or the watery side of his saliva then makes everything dislodge a little bit easier and get out of his skin. So you see he's doing a very good job at it. And you see there's the wound that he's got. You see that hole there? So judging by the shape of the of the wound, I'm pretty sure that what happened there was that another lion bit him because it looks like a canine, one of those very big teeth that went straight in, probably got bitten in the back. But it's not bad. Lions often get all sorts of injuries and you see he is now busy cleaning itself, making sure that nothing strange, no maggots, nothing goes in there just to make sure that it heals a lot quicker. But like I was saying, reports are that apparently this lion fought with another one. Chopped elementary, you guys are wondering how long do lions live for? Well, it depends if you're a boy or a girl. So the male lions, the boy lions like this one with very big manes because they are have to fight and protect their territories and their females and their cubs from any other uh, lions that might be in the area, they tend to live a little bit less at some than the females. So a male lion, a boy lion can live for about 10 to 12 years, whereas a female that lives in a family with all the other aunts and sisters and etc, they can live for maybe about 15 years. So it changes obviously from one area to the other, but roughly that I would say that's a good average for them. Definitely making sure that there's nothing funny in that wound. You see, living down here on the ground and sleeping on the soil gets all sorts of little things in all those wounds, so he's got to be very careful to make it very clean. <laughs> Almost looks like a big cat, doesn't he? With all that pretty... all that pretty mane and all that black hair that he's got there. But I'm sure it's not as soft as it would, <laughs> as it appears. I'm sure it's full of knots. Now, if you look at his face, you can tell. Look at all those scars on his nose. So they have a very tough life. They've got. Uh, they constantly fight with one another. And even when they manage to hunt something, and they're all eating something big, like a buffalo or perhaps a big antelope. Uh, they all fight and they all growl at each other and they all hurt because even when they eat, even if it's the same family, they all try to, to get more food. So imagine if you're like at a big Thanksgiving dinner and everyone's fighting to get the bigger piece of the turkey. That's roughly what it is when the lions are eating all the time. They just fight because they're all, they're actually all really fatties and they all just want to eat as much as they can <laughs> and they have to to survive. So some of the wounds they get from fighting with family members, some of the wounds they get them from fighting with females, and some of the wounds they get when hunting. 
Beautiful. Right, Chapter Elementary, it has been a pleasure having you guys with us on Drive this afternoon. Very happy we managed to see some lions and elephants and of course the ground hornbills, which is very, very cool for the afternoon. And we hope to see you again next time.